Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 11 Sorry, I was moving the microphone And today, obviously we want to start to uh, go through the whole thing with Hals You know, we already know that uh, that is the bear that it's been held there And I have a few things to explain uh, Or to tell more, more likely So, Karlak you see this? Uh, the returning pike. This was something that I actually forgot to buy in the last episode. Right before I poisoned the goblins outside. So yeah, I <laughs> had to load uh, the save and do the whole thing again. A bit off camera of course. So yeah, this is a throwing thing that comes back pretty much. And... Well, I think I'm not gonna have it at the moment, but yeah, just so you know, we are gonna be using that every now and then. And we got this, the Ring of Flinging. Throwing boost. The word gains uh, bonus to throw damage. And that's basically it. You can throw stuff. And besides that, I don't think anything else It's a uh, hand. Oh yeah, of course, Will. I changed Will entirely. Um... Uh, I want him to be more of a more of a mage uh, range, not so melee. As you can see, let me see. There we go. I got a uh, hex, obviously the witch bolt. Find familiar. This is what I I thought it was gonna be better. You can cast. Um, This thing, I honestly thought it was gonna be a better idea to have him like that. We got the cloud of daggers, minor illusion. Let's see, scorching ray. I think this one, it's like once or twice every every day or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Or every rest, green show rest, eldritch blast, and. But yeah, that's about it. I get the misty stepped. There is work and with Shadow Heart, I have not changed much, but we are going to be changing a few things in the levels to come, especially at level 5. Hopefully, we hit that pretty soon. Oh, uh, we so, Okay, we're not that close, to be honest, but it's alright. But yeah, with that being said, let's just. Let's move get started guys we need to we need to free the droid for a number of reasons one of them being Koga in the in the grove so yeah let's see see it squealed <laughs> it's it again keep your hands steady three <laughs> well, yeah Throwing rocks at the bear. Again! Make it squeal again. You're gonna see the karma is gonna fall on you. Mm. He's helpless. Let him go. He's staying right here. The beast came in here with those robbers. Killed Dink and Mintz too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I wanna hear more noises! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Authority. Right. Oh, we can use the Illithid and the Paladin. The Illithid we can only use, as you already know, only once every day, every rest. Paladin Intimidation. Let's do that. Release the bear immediately or face my wrath. Someone so worked up over a stupid animal. But, but I want to hear it squeal. 
We'll be the ones squealing if we piss off the bear hugger. The bear hugger. Hope you can control the furry bastard. The bear sizes you up. Wary, but not yet attacking. All right. Let's see. Attack the goblin, sh charge the bear, lead the bear. For the well, now we already know this is the droid, so we're gonna uh, team up with him. Carlock approves. Okay, so what, what these kids are gonna be doing is they are going to try and run for the door to make it um to warn the guards basically when i try and probably should kill them first i'm not entirely sure let's see it's me it's will who's that guy mm, it's not that one yeah it's that one butcher the beast master well this guy is the beast master that it's gonna try and get the um this these things out tail oh that's their name yeah they're wolves probably now yeah should be uh, trying and get this uh get first so this is the little imp wall and it failed i'm gonna at least try and stay here so they have to engage. Mm, so this is the beast master, so I should try and use the hex, try to get rid of him quick. And then just It's not bad. On my word. I'm gonna send Karlak this way. Surely I can kill one of them in one hit. There he goes. And as for myself, just gonna Try me. make sure to kill this guy. And work. I missed it. Let's see if I can daze him. At least. Halsing hits real hard and he's got a lot of HP. So yeah, that's cool. Oh, okay. Probably should move out of there. Mm. Yeah, no, it's it's too far away. It's disengaging. Oh, she made it. Well, it's not too bad. Just a couple more guys, I, I guess. Let's see this guy, you see. They already here. Hey, the, the imp, it's failing me. It's missing everything. That's not cool. He's dead. He tried to go towards the, the cage and he died. That's good. We we do have the thing where the blood sacrifice probably should be trying to use it more. This is gonna feel good. Want another? 
If it doesn't fail, it should be dead. And we got those guys now. Oh yeah, I forgot about the wolves actually. And I just thought of something just now. I should have done it before. There's Halsin. Oh. Again. Missed again. Indeed. Is that an update? I don't remember the dialogue being that. Uh. Being that uh, intuitive, I was thinking of this just now, but I don't think I have enough movement to make it all the way over there. So by the time the the wolves come out, I can have them blown up a little, and I'm just gonna. Well, it's gonna move a little bit. Okay, let's see if this guy's gonna redeem himself. Okay. That all favors the fearless. I don't have enough uh, reach. Yeah, no. mm, too bad. I can make it there, probably. But I lost the uh, so resources. No, I didn't. Okay. Lol. I wonder if I can. Oof, that is like just. Got it. Probably don't have the the reach for that, do I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, too bad. Is this guy to HP? Yeah. Okay, there's that. And this was a bad idea. I should be moving over there, quite frankly. Believe it. <laughs> yeah, is that a is that an update? If it is, it's the it's the update from yesterday at the moment of recording this. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Which is the one update? Uh. That has to do with uh, new beginnings and new endings for the Dark Urge, actually. Let's make this quick. I don't know if we can... If in this playthrough we can manage to get some of that. That would be pretty cool. Oh, well, who's this guy? Is this new? Uh, let's try this one. Oh, nice. No holding back. And let's see how far I can make it. Fleet of foot. Let's go. It's just this guy left. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> That guy's dead. Let's get moving. 
the bear is too uh, it's too close for me to want and and blow this thing up quite frankly you picked the wrong fight friend Let's be done. Oh, that's good. I mean, not it's not good because I cannot move. Can I? Again. Nope. I'm ready. I was gonna try and blow this up. Ah, uh, let's do it. Jolo. I didn't hit me at all. That's cool. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like way bigger uh, wave. Okay, let's see how far. Hmm. Okay. Still a lot. On the victor's path. You too need to dash a little bit. Fleet of foot. Got nothing else other than this, and I don't want to use it, quite frankly. <laughs> Same with Carlux, it's pretty far away. My little trick. There goes that one. I probably should... No, not really. Got in one hit, that's pretty cool. There he is. Viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halsin. There we go. The master of Halcyon, uh, the master of Halcyon of the Emerald Grove, I spoke to Nancy. She said you could help me with parasite in my head. Mm -mm -mm. Right, I spoke to Nancy. She said you could help me with the parasite in my head. Parasites in your head? That you mean you have one of them? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The mind flares spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Well, truth be told, we don't know, right? Uh, escape from an Ethel ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so called true souls are infected with them. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. 
All right. Uh, this magic isn't typical of how mind flayers procreate. No, this is different, altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. Uh, tell me what you learned about the tadpole's origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Very well, guys. So... There is two ways from here, there's two paths. So we can either um tell him to come as a sort of a temporary companion. But the downside of that is that as soon as he comes out of the door, he's gonna start bashing uh, goblins right in center. So you know it's kinda uh it's not very effective, you know. So we are going to tell him that we are going to uh, do the thing, right? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. So there you see, these are the three bosses, these are the three uh, main enemies in this area. We already killed Guts, the Priestess, and we have to take a look to Drag, Slain, and Mithara for that matter. Where am I? I think it's easier. Why are you asking me to kill a draw? So yeah, we're gonna tell him uh, that we're gonna deal with this and tell him to just. Uh, stay here or something. There is no safety. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the growth is secure, then I shall leave. You see? We can ask him to follow us, but he starts to kill everyone as, uh, pretty soon. And we don't want to do that because I want to show uh, dialogues and stuff, you know, for lore's sake. Uh, Alright. Wait here until it's done. May Sylvanas guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Very well. Let's have a look around before we go, actually. Let's loot this. Oh, look. have a look here. Those are good. Those are really good. Uh, let's see. Uh, line breaker boots, adrenaline rush. Once per turn, when you're uh, when you dash, you gain wrath for two turns. Mm, I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, well. It's it's a rage thing, so we're gonna give it to Karlak. Why not? How's that? At least things have stayed interesting. Who who made her so much damage? By the way, it's uh, I didn't know they hit her that hard. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. 
Wow, the goblin spell and it's red on the card. Oh, it's a grease. I forgot about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> they all fell, dude. <laughs> anyway, uh, this chest were empty. Kids don't have nothing. It's a key. And probably should be picking up everything because uh, probably gonna get selling stuff today. Potion of healing. Scroll. Mm, but I should pick uh, this up. Nah. Okay then. Nice. Mace. Yeah, as, I, as I told you uh, last time, a couple of episodes, you see, that we were going to spend in this area. It's a lot to see and do. Beast Master Chain. Mm. Okay. Not that good, really. So I believe one of these keys that we just picked up it's for that door. Let's see what lies beneath it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, there, there's uh, heavy stones. So, because Carla is a berserker, uh, whenever we do this thing, throw, we can just. Uh, throw stones and it actually does a lot of damage. It's not bad at all. Let's pick them all up. I have such a headache. And other than that, uh, okay, there are a few stones there, but this is a dead elf. You can loot it. Protrude mm. from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Ooh. Okay. Uh, minus one. <laughs> let's, let's see. Ah, it's a five. Hopefully. Oh. Whenever it doesn't matter, I get like I get twenty all the time. And when it does, I get one. It seems the tunnel Insane. collapsed mid dig and suffocated him. Crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. Okay. Uh, pull the body free. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Well, I think this takes you to... Um, uh... Just to the other room that we were before, and Let me show. in the other parts of the of the goblin camp. Mm, I can't see the other rock. It should be there. We go. Still okay. In control. Just so it seems like that's it for. Uh, for Oh, there is a there is a bomb and a bottle of grease here. There we go. But yeah, it seems like that's it uh, for here, and we should head in our way to to see the rest of the bosses.
We already killed God, so there is uh, Draw Raxlin and Mithara. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna show you something that I forgot uh, last time we were around here. So, if you come up here, just so you see how many things you can miss in this game. Here, there's a gilded chest. A lot of good stuff. And over there, across the ceiling, another one. Insane. But not only that, I think I think in this one I don't know if it was this one, let's see. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Got a wooden chest here. And I'm gonna separate myself because you know these guys cannot jump. There's another chest over there. A lot of stuff, you see. But yeah, never mind that. That is the sort of thing that I'm gonna be picking up. Uh, but that is the sort of thing that I look around and pick up whenever it's off camera, just so you know. Let me know if you want me to to show you the sort of thing, uh, or do you stop uh, like to spend time on that sort of thing? So I can just do it off camera and not in the episodes. Uh, oh, there's all the spiders there, so I'm gonna try and not aggro them because I guess we can still engage in fights with them. Here is Draw Raxlin, and they are performing that uh, a ritual with a Mind Flayer there. Uh, we probably should... I don't want to use a rest, so I'm going to see if I can just use these potions. Just a little bit. I'm going to use one of, uh, one of these with Karlak. And that's about it, that's alright. So let's talk. Let's see what's going on. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. By Balderan's bones. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Shugan and Shukok. This is the big boss. Strike him down. Yes, yes, oh, Will. Calm down. And the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Another drow true soul. As if there weren't enough of you. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. All right. So, guys, what's going to happen here it's that they're trying to well with uh, necromancy to make him alive again so they c uh, he can tell them where the weapon he had is you know and who, who was the killer the weapon it's the the artifact that shadow hearts got so we 
don't want this mind flare to recognize or uh, recognize us. Mm. Study the corpse. Was this the mind flare that tortured you? Let's see. This mind flare's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says so it the does. dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Her suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Right. Mm, I don't know what happens if we leave. Like... I don't know if that's going to trigger the fight, which is not what we want right now. So, uh, let's do, uh, let the ceremony proceed. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call deck, sure call hex. Hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and a questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Uh... I'm not really sure, guys. I might have to save because I don't uh, I don't really know. Let's try and because if I get into his mind, like eventually he's gonna break out of it and it's going to attack us or something. Let's allow him to speak freely. Talk to me, freak. Who killed you? The creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Well, that's us. Damn it! That tells me nothing! The memory fades, and the corpse awaits the next question. Yeah, like, I'm afraid of uh, doing the... that one. Let's see what Tell we can do. Who killed you, freak! No games! Again, a vision comes to you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand opening a holding pod. The murk clears to reveal a face. Oh, damn. Yes. Fuck. That can't be. You, your no true soul. Oh, we can steal. We can steal. Oh, this is a nice chance. Yeah, we can still out talk our way out of this. It's a mistake, I'm a true soul, remember? We connected. Plus five, so... There we are. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses, silent once more. Oh. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the Drow. Minthara's the name. 
She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Right, let's do that. Well, I think that was pretty close, not gonna lie. Consider it done. Praise the absolute. Yes, yes. Uh is for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. Yeah. Artifact. If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Radio. Remember down there is the spider, so we don't want to engage there. Uh well. Yeah, the thing is we didn't need to we didn't need them to well, the Mind Flayer to recognize us. And that was pretty close. I actually didn't want to um, to get into his mind. You know, eventually he was going to snap out of it and attack us or something, probably. These eyes are snitches, obviously. And over there, guys, there's Pinthara. And I think that's what we're gonna do next. So as I as I told you before, just so you know, you can have Minthara as a companion. Whoa, what does the hell? You can have her as a companion, but for do, uh, to do that, you have to ally with them. So basically, attacking the grove and, and you know just going against the tieflings and and all of that. And besides that, Will and Karlak leave the party so just think about it if you if you want to do that because things be said Mithara is really good companion like amazing character and, and all of that but yeah she's not gonna see the end of it in this uh, in this playthrough so yeah let's see how we proceed there she is, Night Warden, level 6. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue. A limb. Ain't no use without my words. Damn. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. Hard as fuck, mate. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark endless nowhere in it you see a vision the drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear one of those the voice spoke of one of the chosen one of the, the chosen fades away a true soul praise be sister are you here to join my hunt uh A hunt? Who's the target? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. The thief, whimpering in our dungeon, tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. That's the She's guy we freed. Visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Sharing her dream of dance of death. What? Mm. 
pretty good and you, and you heard thrust so yeah we can do this by the way as well if you want to do it um, but I'm not sure if you can actually like have the fight over there I don't think it's uh, it's what we're gonna do I think I don't know what this is speak true soul the hunt must begin soon oh oathbreaker oh, oh, yeah this is where your hunt ends well yeah there's not much else that we can see there is not much else that we will see this is it that's uh this is where Minfara's journey ends you would dare guards to me all right all right now guys um just you saw a cut at the beginning of the fight the thing is who was it it was this guy i think Motherfucker threw Shadow her off the cliff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, the eye is pretty far away, sadly. Actually, I should probably send this and uh, the imp this way uh, right away. And get it. Oh, okay. I mean, that starts. Ah, uh, that's not good. Holding her already. Ah, oh, and I forgot the drum again. Alright. Let's see if I can. No, yeah. Just two levels uh, above. HP War Cry is that selling the others? Yeah, looks like it. Ah, it's uh, lasting a lot. Okay. I don't know... Let's end this. I don't know if it's already... Damage already done or something like that. Mm, I doubt I can fly this much. Yeah, no, I cannot. And also I got that guy. Oh damn. Oh she was almost dead. That's not good. Fucking moron. Now, 
uh, everyone knows, right? Like they, everyone's gonna come around. That, that never works, does it? <laughs> you cannot throw me in that direction. Eldritch Blast. Uh, and I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't have enough for that. Still on my feet. I'm heating up. I am very disappointed on myself. I don't know what's going on. I'm failing a lot. Okay, there's that and just the last one over there. What the fuck? Can only fly that much. Well, that's kind of... That's terrible. What should I do? Well, you don't have the strength, but... Yeah, no. We do have this. Not only it didn't work, but I fucking broke the bridge. <laughs> Alright then, what about the Eldritch Blast? That can push, right? It missed. Today you fool. Finally. In that corpse. You should take a look. Ah. Alrighty then. So there's a gilded chest here. And look at that. This is very important. The water sparks. Sparkers, sorry. Why? Because let's have a look. There they are. Electrified water. When the wearer stands in the water during combat, it becomes electrified. If the world starts their turn on an electrified surface... Oh my god, what was that? I didn't press anything. I think my game is actually bugging. Oh, apologies, I didn't realize. Uh, but yeah. They start their turn on an electrified surface, they gain three lightning charges. You already know who's gonna wear them. So as you can see now, we got the Jolty Vest, the Water Sparkers, Sparkle hands and this thing that doesn't make any damage, but it's pretty good. It's fine We still have a couple of items that we need to get for this set and And yeah, like by level 5 I'm also gonna be changing a couple of stuff a couple of useless things <laughs> Like my stats for this weapon and whatnot Don't worry about that It's all gonna come together And uh, Minthara. So there is an illithid parasite here. 
This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Yeah, you see, this is different. This one's different. But, you know, we are obviously going to be trying to um, avoid uh, all tadpole related stuff. But also let me know in the comments what you want me to do with this. And, well, yeah. Like, uh, if you get the tadpoles, it, it is true that it makes things a lot easier. Like, they're pretty powerful. And the more you get, the better. But yeah, I don't think it it, it, it uh, fits with the Paladin stuff, even being an Oathbreaker. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Don't worry, you won't come to harm. I'll protect you. No, we don't want to do that. Close your mind, keep the parasite out. You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. There you go. That's the the woman from our dreams. Uh, let's see what else we want. Ah, this is a, like a, an easter egg telling you that she could be a companion. She has the supply packs and the, the pouch and whatnot. Dagger. The spider's liar. Spider silk armor. Uh, stealth. Plus one bonus of stealth checks. Advantage on constitution saving throws checks. It's not bad. It will encumber me. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, her clothes. Most importantly, <laughs> her underwear. Uh, or, yeah, Addy's clothes. Draw leather clothes. Boots of striving. This I don't remember. Let's see. Ah, it's focus. Focus stride. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum for one turn. Uh, you can get knocked prone or be moved against your will. Uh, that's gonna go to will, I think. Mace and her mace. Also. Oh. Very well. Uh, yeah, I'm encumbered, so let's send. Um, I got a lot of shit. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think you. Uh, I think I recently learned that we cannot get Gale anymore, apparently. So. We got his hand. At least. The maze we are not going to be using, I think. Uh, I want to sell that one. Both necrotic. No, this is... Uh, in. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We'll see. In the meanwhile, you send all this rubbish. Uh, to the wares and then to Garlock maybe. Right. This area, nothing else to to see. There's a potion here. What is this? Ah, this is from the eye? Oh, I didn't even check what it was that I had. Bark skin. I have uh, it firms into a tough straight tweak. Then once more okay that's uh, weird but yeah nonetheless let's keep going also Mintharas boots 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Shop give them to one. Will. Why not? What? Oh, it, al it already started. Mm, this is odd. Let's see what we can do. In the moment I, was, I, I walk in, I mean, where is everyone? Huh. There's only one of those. This guy hits real fucking hard though. Okay, there is one of them there and there's this guy. And those guys over there. Yeah, but there is uh, less goblins. She's 13. Time for some bloody work. And I missed it. Which is not cool. Mm, that would have been nice. I'm not sure how this fight's gonna go if we already been seen. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But this guy should be uh, should be killed as soon as possible. Worth a try. Oh, I don't have enough action, I see. Well, there's that. Can't give up. Heading there. And I can't really do much. I can cast this. He's a berserker, by the way. Mm, that is not good. Apologies that I'm being uh, quiet, it's just that I'm almost certain that I'm gonna have to... Um, I'm gonna have to load a save. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know. Shadow Heart. Light on my feet. Stupid as hell, dude. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot of turns until Shadow Heart can do something. Blow the barrel. Ah, uh, what? This will. Eldritch Blast doesn't work with this one, does it? No, no, it doesn't. What am I thinking? I'd like to do this first. And then... What's it gonna take? Covered. Shit. Just because he missed, dude. And oof. God damn. right there ah he can take it can he this isn't good. no it isn't take your heal. that is shit healing You are kidding me. <laughs> My time's running out. Just get him already. <laughs> now Will's Will's one HP, he's gonna die. Put him up. But at least we are not dead yet. Which is incredible considering that this wasn't supposed to go like this at all. Okay, that guy's dead. See this guy? Let's see that do something. Well, I, I kill Will. <laughs> oh God. Oh, the spiders now aggro. That's interesting. Yeah, this is this is really weird. Like I've never done this fight like this. 
Uh, oh yeah, and in case you're wondering, like, uh, because when I played this, I was playing in tactician. It was pretty fucking difficult. Something I did is in, before engaging in fight, I came here where he was sitting, and I surrounded him with uh, explosive barrels. That gives you a good uh, head start in the fight. Oh god, okay. Collect it. It might be useful. Very well. Oh, that was tough. Let's use one of these. Oh, that put the wind back in my sails. Actually tough. I thought the spiders were like a meme. Draw Raxling. Let's see. Scroll of a speak with the dead. Draw Raxling key. Faith breaker. Mm. And a parasite. I'm spent. I should unwind in camp. Yep. Let's see this. Six fifteen. Okay. It's not that. Uh, I was expecting better. To be honest. The key. The scroll. But I keep sending stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm... I don't think I'm gonna keep that. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep adding stuff to the... to the wares. to pick up but yeah this is not how I uh, I was expecting things uh, to to happen you know like uh, I was gonna place myself pretty carefully around but yeah I guess it's because of the wardrobe we could not control that and these guys already knew we were coming so yeah it was a pretty fucked up fight it wasn't that good All of this I already, I already uh, looted. The, yeah. So yeah, there's that. That it's Mithara. That is Draw Raxlin, and God we did kill. So that is the three bosses, the three pillars of this whole thing. Dead. So, <clears throat> sorry. We should go to Halsin, and tell him, the spiders were no joke, by the way. Uh, mostly because I I found the odd to uh, get it get a hit somehow I guess uh, it's a it's a game thing it wasn't really uh, how could I say it wasn't really like um, it was just a, a game being weird so yeah there's that and we should get going You saw me there going from here to there, it's because I kinda got lost. But yeah, it's here, is it not? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Sh Shadowheart died, by the way. I don't know if... I'm just telling this because I think I'm gonna cut a few things from that fight. Just to not make... Uh, to make it less tedious. But yeah, she died. Okay. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. They, to them. they are dead. It, dead it, mate. Uh, all the leaders are dead. The grove is safe. You did it. 
You actually did it. Hell yeah. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice. But those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Very well. Uh, the slaughter was a pleasure. That's Dark Urge stuff. I've done my part. Now tell me about Moonrise. Yeah, tell us about Moonrise. Mm. Let's get out of this pit firstly. Return to the grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Very well. And he turns into a rat and runs off. Bucolic, that's a word I didn't remember. Uh... So yeah, there we go. Now everything is alright now. We saved the grove, basically. And that would be it, I think, from uh, when it comes to the to the goblin camp. There is a few things that we can check and see, but as when it comes to tasks and story, I would say that's about it. Oh yeah, there is this place. Uh, these are the, the the guys that we killed. It wasn't our fault. They started first. Oh yeah, and there is all these things that were from the from the merchant. All of this we can just. Go and sell. To my bag. that trash gonna send it to the worst to hello and I'm, go I'm just gonna send this to Carlock because this probably waits a little bit there we go so yeah we can now go here oh well it's locked let's at the ready. well as one does. pick it oh wow <laughs> Oh, come on, no, don't don't make me waste all the tools, Will. Okay, there we go. Yeah, these are also very little bonuses, but uh, for the time we've been playing, I should I should get uh, getting gear and whatnot, just to make sure that we open everything. This room is full of uh, explosive barrels. You can. That's curious. Oh. You can come here before, I mean, you can try and sneak past this before starting the fight with Draw Raxlin. And as I told you, you can just place a lot of them um, uh, around him and I'll start the fight that way. Try to blow him up. The magic touch. Bollocks. Not good enough, Will. There we are. Gold. Nice. Uh, I reckon these things are... Oh yeah, you have that. The alchemist uh, fire. You see? Like, you can, you can just pick all of this up. And... Just get it going. This I don't quite remember. Pull yourself together. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Ah, okay. It's just in case you can you can do it. We cannot. And 
the other room here. Well, we are free to open this. But obviously, as I told you before, when we were just here the first time, you can just jump. Just jump here. There's nothing. Ta da! Ah, oh, nice. I thought, I thought it was a book. Ah, uh, yeah. Before, before continuing, let's see. Let's just check. Like, let's just. Oh, we used the key for that. Mm, it doesn't seem to be anything around here. Well, yeah, let's continue. Scroll of Mel's Acid Arrow. And there is an ogre there. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. Look familiar? It's one of those we caught, um, well, having a way a couple of episodes ago. It's similar. Try to convince them you belong here. Sorry, I thought this was way to the latrines. I'll be off then. Nah, fuck that. Let's just kill them. Let's just kill the whole of them. Uh, because why not you, you know? Uh, at 75 HP though, I didn't remember that. Still breathing, despite everything. Let's do arrows. And let's go a little bit behind it's because deep. she's melee, so you know, let's make her come here. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Let's try this. See, not too bad. Oof. Today you fool. Oh, Will, why don't you do that when we are in actual fight? Come on, can't stay idle. Missed it as usual. We are wrecking. Huh? Losing strike. Ready for this. Oh, it's because I've got the spear. What is the thing then? I don't really I don't really know. Let's see. Do I have to throw it or how does it work? Brace ranged. Uh, okay. It's a lot of damage. I feel like it should, if I would have done the 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 firebolt. I would have done the same thing and failed the, the attack, <laughs> quite possibly. Sometimes the only way out is through. Mm. Let's use one of these. I'm probably gonna have to buy a lot of them. Or I just could do this. I forgot again to check what uh, what this attack is. <laughs> I think I can still cannot do it though. Mm. 
Miss it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Ah, I see. One HP. <laughs> All right. We just wanted to see what what you got around. Was no need to to do that. Okay, let's see. Kill the chest. Amulet of Misty Step. Alright. I love the word to cast Misty Step uh, made of blue. Okay. I think. I think I'm gonna wear that one. Yeah, why not? The reading padlock key, uh, rotten fish. Oh, where's the key? The key is there. Cannot pick it up. There it is. Uh, some selenite stuff, apparently. Recipe, it, we, read, we, we did read this. Potions, most appreciated. Let's see what's this way. Well, yeah, this is a Selenite temple. Before that, let me just check here. Okay. This is a Selenite temp uh, temple, and looks like these plates on the floor can be turned. You might have guessed it. It's pretty easy-looking uh, puzzle. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of difficult with the console thingy. Okay. the way around <laughs> but yeah it's pretty simple uh puzzle huh. this goes very far down we'll and to there's to the, see the bottom the door open yeah what is this mm. ah this is the door uh, lever lock Let's see. Yeah, so as you see, a lot of satellite stuff. We are about to hit five, aren't we? Oh, almost. Look, it does indeed goes pretty far down. I wonder where, right? This is, you might have guessed it already. It's another way to the Underdark. Remember a couple of episodes ago, we made it there. Uh, by other meanings, and I didn't even know you could do that. At the time. But yeah, this is the Underdark. Just where the drow, the goblins come. Um, and all those things from D&D. &D. Like the, I don't even know how they called, but you know the big octopus, uh, one-eye looking guy. He's locked. I think minotaurs as well. 
Alright, so 20. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do safe. Let's see what's in there. Okay, that was like four tries. Let's see. More interesting times. And I bet it's nothing. Uh, I think in the chest. Please be something good. Oh my god, it's locked. Can I just bash the chest with my sword? No trouble at all. It feel the perception instead of a fake wall. Okay. Should have brought a star in. Despite everything. Yelp met of smithing. When you apply a condition with one of those, uh, one of your smite spells, you gain temporary hits equal to your charisma modifier. Ah, okay, interesting. So I failed the perception here. That's curious. Oh, opulent chest. Another perception. Hot foot, hot foot. Place is trapped. Where is the trap? It's probably the chest. Well, worry not because we are running out of time. Spe especially in this uh, in this episode. What we really want to do here is to just get the checkpoint, the, the the teleport, because we are going to leave now. We are going to head to the grove. And we, we need to head to the grove, but before that we are going to go camp. Right. So it seems like nobody needs to talk. So we are just going to... To sleep. Uh, still? Nobody? Yep. Oh. Oh, it's it's the girl. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're mm. looking for solutions in the wrong places. Do we trust this girl, by the way, guys? How do you feel about that? Uh, the tadpole have been offered way to power by my butler. Tell me who you are, as he mentioned that uh, these stat balls have been modified with magic. Uh, there must be some way to get rid of it. 
Yeah, Halsey mentioned that these tadpoles have been modified with magic. Yes. Halsey is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsey knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Right. Tell me more about this magic. Oh, it's it difficult choices. It parasite with special powers. Some that benefit, most that harm. But most importantly, it enables the host to be controlled. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. I Were see. Not for my protection, so would you. I see. Uh, my mind player tells me to do foul things. Are you sure your protection is working? Well, that is not true. That is the uh, dark urge. But I'm guessing the character wouldn't really know, right? Let's see. I protect you from becoming a mind player. I cannot protect you from yourself. Right. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike. You and I. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. All right. Tell me where I can find you. No, it isn't safe. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Very well. That's interesting. That is good. And just like that, guys, we are starting to get stuff done. And from here, it's just gonna go laser through the rest of the stuff. And probably it's gonna just go, uh, the rest is just gonna be me off camera trying to uh, sell. <laughs> and buy things for, for the adventure you know but yeah thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video i really appreciate it tell me what you like about these videos tell me what you hate about these videos all sorts of uh, input helps me a lot i want to do better thank you so much once again and i'll see you in the next one have a good one